Malta's illegal immigration crisis is crammed into this military compound. And behind this steel fence and barbed wire are almost a thousand men who hoped that Europe would have meant a brand new beginning. They are just some of the record number of arrivals on Maltese shores this year. Stranded on an island with a tough immigration policy where detention is mandatory. I want the Maltese government to grant me freedom because I run for my country because of injustice. I came here, they keep me at Toby Justice. Nobody cannot ride from fight to fight. I run from fight so that they will save me, to save my life. And they kept me here for detention as a prisoner. It's a tough environment where ethnic tensions are high. We are whisked into the central yard where more migrants greet us with chance for freedom. Almost every day, the Maltese Navy rescues migrants on rickety boats that leave the North African coast. But what they discover when they arrive in Malta often crushes their hopes. Those who are granted refugee status and are released from detention find it very difficult to get a job. The few that manage are often exploited and underpaid. Instead, many are starting to accept a 5,000 euro cash grant and be voluntarily sent back to their homeland. The scheme is financed jointly by the government of Malta and the European Union. It's an offer that Iwoki Sanadu from Ghana has decided to accept. I don't want to travel anymore. That is my decision. But um, Europe is better. But for my own way of coming at illegal way, I don't like it. The people of Malta are split on the issue, with a large part of them voicing their concerns through the far-right political parties who demonstrate in the streets of the capital, Valletta. The far-right political parties in Malta are insisting that the immigration pact signed by the EU leaders in Brussels is a farce and therefore they are insisting that the Maltese government must keep its ground to obtain all the aid necessary to face the immigration crisis. Speaking to Al Jazeera, Malta's Minister for Home Affairs insists that the country is doing all it can within the European Union to find a solution in the best interests of the country and the migrants themselves. Is that this small island with its limited resources has to do the right thing to give them international protection, to give them the right humane approach and to give these people a new future. Back at the detention center, Iwoke Senado is preparing to leave Malta in two weeks time. All he will be taking home is the money he had to accept and a heavy heart that the Europe he once dreamt of never opened its doors for him. Carl Stanyanavara, Al Jazeera, Valletta, Malta.